Hey everyone, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. What do you think of when you hear the name Logitech? Keyboards and mice, right? I mean, if you've had a computer in the last 20 years, one way or another you've had a Logitech keyboard or a mouse. Well, Logitech goes all the way back to 1981, which is the same year that MTV started. I'm actually old enough to remember both of those things. Well, over the years, Logitech has expanded their product line. They've got a lot of cool gaming hardware now, too. But they've expanded their line, and they actually have this Circle 2 indoor outdoor security camera. Here's a little side mount that goes along with it. We'll get these things out of the box and see what they look like. All right, we've got the seal open there. And it looks like we have two boxes inside. One and two. Okay, this one has the wired camera. This one says wired power and mounting hardware. So let's look at the camera first. Get it out of the box. It looks like it opens that way. Uh -huh. Okay, I got this little piece here to help keep the camera secured while it's in its packaging so it doesn't bounce around or get damaged. Certainly not very large, it is very compact. And it looks like that is the only thing that is in this box. And the next box here. There we go. Looks like a mounting base and a power cord, power cable. Yep. Quick start guide. We'll read through that here in a moment. And then over here we have, looks like another type of charger. Another type of mount that plugs directly into a socket, a wall outlet, and then some mounting hardware. So I'll look through the instructions here and get more familiar with what all we've got. All right, I looked over the instructions to get some general information on what I'm dealing with here. Never ceases to amaze me what you can learn when you read the instructions. On the back of the camera here, these are the contact points here where the uh, electricity is transferred. And we have this little, I'll show you this little, it's not really a tab. I guess it is kind of a tab. And we have the same thing on the back of this uh, mount here. So what you do is, is we line the two up. Now there's actually a seal around here. And get those two lined up after these are pushed together. And then you can rotate this to any orientation you want. So you can see there's the front of the camera. And when this thing is mounted on the wall, you'll want to you want to make that final adjustment, but it gives you quite a bit of uh, adjustment there. Now this piece here, this is your charger. This is your USB charger, which is what the other end here plugs into of the camera, the power supply for the camera. And then this little guy here, this snaps in the back like that. So we plug this into the wall and you plug the other end into the uh, USB port there and then you can power the camera up. Now this here is a little base when we want to screw this to the wall or whatever we want to mount it to that attaches to the back here so that's what that part is for. So now I'll go ahead and power it up. The other thing you need to do is download the app from Logitech and I've already got that on my iPhone and I'll try it on an Android too. See what that's like and then we'll connect this to the app so that it will become activated. Now the camera is plugged in. You can see we have a little bit of a blue glowing ring there. And this camera actually comes in two flavors. This is the wired version, obviously. They have a battery powered version that is completely wire free. You can mount it outside as long as your battery is good and charged and you're within Wi Fi range. The camera will work. There are pluses and minuses to both. Of course, uh, with the wired, you are limited to uh, the length of this cable as to how far you can mount it from an outlet. Okay, well, I now got it connected got to the up. app. I will go ahead and, and get the app going. It is live now. The whole process probably took five minutes, maybe a little less, and that includes the update to the firmware. As soon as it got online, 
which was a very simple, easy process. Uh, it walks you through it on the app. Uh, it asked for an update to the firmware, and I said, sure, go ahead and do that. There is a reset button here on the side if you do need to reset it. Uh, it talks about that in the manual. This little ring of uh, lights around here, if you can see right there, is kind of white, but it actually, uh, it has different colors for different uh, functions. I even saw purple in there, which I don't see purple mentioned here, but we've got blinking blue, which means it's ready to pair. I did see that when we first got it going. Solid white means it's connected and ready for use. There's a green and a privacy mode. There's a red. Like I said, I think I saw a purple in there too. And then it talks about the reset mode down here if you need to ever reset the camera. It is Wi-Fi, so it does do both bands, 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz, which is nice if you have a router that can handle that uh, on your Wi-Fi network. So now the next thing to do here is open this little mount. Logitech sent me this uh, additional mount here. Let's see if I'm smart enough to get the box open. There we go. And this is a little magnetic mount. So what we've got is a base. If I can get these apart, yep. Nice strong magnet there. Looks like we peel this off. It's got a very, very sticky backing to it. So we figure out where we want to mount this. And then this is the piece that will attach or connect to the back of the camera so that you can mount the camera conveniently, quickly and easily remove it if you want to take it down. So this is a nice feature here. We'll test that out here in a little bit. So now I am actually looking at my iPhone app with an Android phone. And we'll move over here in front of the camera. It has gone to night vision. If I get too close, it'll be a little washed out there since I'm trying to view what the camera is seeing with my camera. But you get an idea there, idea of what's, uh, what's going on. And then when I look at the camera directly, that bright, what appears to be a white LED at the top there, that's actually the uh, infrared LED. So when I look at the camera, I can't see that other than a little red LED at the top, but it actually appears very bright. And then you can see the green ring, which tells you that the camera is active and live. And then we look down here on the camera and there's what the camera sees. If I move in front of it, and it is night vision. So we'll turn the lights on, and that's what we see with the lights on. So that's what the camera sees, and that's what you'll see on your app. And again, there's the green ring showing you that the camera is active. And if I exit here on my iPhone, let's see that, yep, that ring changes back to white, which tells you the camera is not currently active. Just to show you how sensitive it is, here it is. A uh, mosquito triggered it, so it caught a little video of that. This is a really cool feature called Day Brief. And what it does, the camera uh, basically takes clips of the videos that it's recorded all day and compresses them and condenses them uh, into one little sped up video that you can review. So you can see everything that happened and was captured during the day uh, very conveniently. And uh, here I moved the camera out to another room where I was changing oil for the day, so you can see the quality of the image there. Really crisp, really clear. This is really a nice camera. So wrapping this up, this is the Logitech Circle 2 security camera. Uh, it is dual band, so you've got 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, so if your home network uh, has dual band capability, uh, your camera will. Also, uh, I wanted to talk about the apps here. Uh, getting this thing running was really easy. You can put it on your iPhone, you can put it on your Android, which I did both, had no problems at all. Uh, quick and easy. Love it. You can also access this camera. You can log in uh, on your PC uh, with Logitech and you can view the camera too, uh, or view the images and, and manage the camera that way too. So you can use your PC or your phone. Either way. There are two models available. This is the wired version here. There is a wire-free or a battery-powered uh, version, which I have not seen, so I can't really get too much of an opinion on it. Um, the next thing here, let me talk about the mounts. There are several mounts available. You can go to the Logitech website and see uh, which one may work best for you. They sent me this one. Uh, 
this one is not, uh, it does not come with the camera. It is sold separately. Uh, these are around $20 to $30, and it has a metal base. You peel off the adhesives, stick it wherever you want, and then this piece here is what attaches actually to the base of the camera and locks in there with a little twist, so it's real easy to remove if you need to move the camera around. Uh, this camera also does communicate with the, uh, if you're into the Internet of Things, uh, the Apple Home Kit as well as Amazon Alexa. And the cool thing is you can talk through the camera too. So if somebody's there standing in front of the camera, you can hear them and they can hear you if you want to talk to them. Now the other thing I want to talk about is this camera is 1080p HD streaming. You get 180 degree wide angle view there so you can really catch everything that's happening in front of the camera. It comes with 24 hours of cloud storage. You have to pay if you want more than that, but the 24 hours is a rolling 24 hours. So there's an event that's captured if there's something you want, you need to download it within that 24 hours. I like the day brief too. That's really cool. I showed you that a few minutes ago. Uh, the other thing is, if you want more storage, you can subscribe to it. Get onto the Logitech website and check that out. But there's a 14-day plan, which is called uh, Circle Safe, and then there's the Circle Safe Premium that gives you 31 days. Pricing for this camera, you're looking at about 179 uh, retail and 199 for the battery-powered version. The 179 is for the wired version. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of money for a camera, but for what you get, the feature set and the capabilities, I think it's pretty good. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.